I need to tell you. Yeah. I told you exactly how to do it because I was just like, it's going to be like this way. And you decided to do it like this way or like this way. Well, okay. You got to. It makes no sense. You got to break an omelet to make a few eggs. Wait. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to another episode of Half Baked. Um, Alexis is deceiving you. We are not Ma making Taco Bell or cheesy potatoes. It's cheesy potatoes. With lots of sour cream. Uh, so much sour cream. Who puts sour cream on cheesy potatoes? Anyway, this is the main event. We are making a DIY sushi kit that we got from a local sushi place here that did this for the, the quarantine for you to have something fun to do when you're staying at home. We're going to try to make our own sushi. Sushi is one of my favorite foods and it is not one of yours. Hence why I got Taco Bell. <laughs> Honestly, when I found out you didn't like sushi, it was a real test of our relationship. <laughs> oh my um, God. But I, you know, I did manage to get over it and, uh, you know, I think, I think I have uh, recovered now. Are you excited for this? I am excited for the making process. I don't want to eat it. You it's have not, to try it. I will. Okay, I will try it. Have you ever tried sushi? Yeah. And, and why, what was the experience like? I just didn't, I, it was probably maybe the ingredients, but also it's just like, here's some rice balls with some weird stuff in it. Eat it. <laughs> and it wasn't cooked, and I was just like, mm. So this is from Yellowfish Sushi. They packed up this cute little box. Okay, so we got a big old cup of rice mm -hmm. going on here. Uh, we got our... Uh, chopsticks and our little sushi making mat. Here you can see all the goodies. We got some salmon, avocado, and other things that I don't know what they are. There is some raw fish here, but I, I can make you one without raw fish if, you, if you'd like me to. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of different ingredients. Getting them all out. Ooh, lots of different sauces and stuff. And then look, your own little to-go box. That's where the seaweed's at. I have a feeling this may be hard, but I'm gonna give it a go. All right, we have our instructions here. So I guess we just start. Get all your ingredients ready. Poof, they're ready. What kind of sushi roll are you gonna go for? Um, I wanna put everything in it. Potato break. First thing we're gonna do is get our little bamboo mat, which took me longer than I'd like to admit to open. So I'm gonna assume that this is the nori sheet, the seaweed. So it says that I need to place it on my rolling mat. Are you placing it the right way? I don't know. Looks like, hold on, let me see the picture. The instructions aren't that helpful. Now we spread a handful of cooked sushi rice evenly over the nori. Ooh, it's so um, wet. So, so not wet, so sticky. Gross. It's not gross. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over, rice down. Now we're gonna arrange small portions of your chosen fillings. Okay. So I want to put some salmon. I don't even know how much. The pictures are so small, I can't tell what I'm supposed to be doing. How you feeling? Uh, I'm not feeling that confident, honestly. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll put we'll put two little salmonies, and then we'll put two little avocadoes. Well, it doesn't look bad. You say that now. Well, remember, it's going to be... What? Rolled that way. Rolled what way? Long oh, way. yeah, you're right. Wait, so did I do it right? I did it right. It's... it's. I should probably do them this way, though, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I don't know if this is the right thing, but I'm mixing these up because it did say mix. It did not tell me how to mix or how much, so... It doesn't feel right. <laughs> it does not feel right, huh? Mm -mm. Also, you're getting it dirty on the thingy. Oh, shoot. You're supposed to keep that part clean. You're right, uh huh? Yeah. What if you make me one and it has spicy mayo flavor on it? I'll wash it off. I could die! 
So I'm gonna do some fish, some cream cheese. But then again, I am not a sushi person. Some more. Ah. This is this is a mess. This is harder than I thought it would be. Well, I don't think they're gonna hire you anytime soon. Who? Sushi places. No. All right, I got <laughs> stuff on here. Now we're gonna roll it up into a cylinder. Roll up the sushi softly with your hands to form an... Oh yeah, it does say in a horizontal line down the center of the sushi. That's a horizontal line. Oh wait, no it's not. Oh no, I, I care. I see in the picture it should be like this. You led me astray. No, that's exactly what I told you to do. Okay, but I didn't understand. Roll up the sushi softly with your hands to form a neatly packed cylinder like a fat cigar. Okay. Ugh. Oh, well, that looks like something. It does. I mean, it's not like the prettiest sushi, but it does look like sushi. I didn't say it was a good something. I just said it looked like something. Okay, squeeze firmly with the sushi mat. Make sure the sushi roll is tightly packed. So, wait, do I roll it up like this? Be careful not to squeeze too hard or you'll break the sushi roll. Now I have to cut into rounds. Cut each sushi roll into one and one, one and a half inch rounds using a sharp, damp knife. A it's sharp, in, damp knife. It's important that you re-moisten the knife after each cut. Mama um, knife. Okay, this is... Look, you said huge knife. I gave you a huge knife. You're welcome. Okay, how much is an inch and a half? Moist. Inch? Oh. Moisten it. You're so bad with directions. Okay, half an inch mm -hmm. or an inch and a half. That's like an inch and a half, probably. That is not even an inch. Okay. Aw, it's sweet that you think they're smaller. Look at the intensity in his face as he cuts. Uh. That looks like a butthole. Okay, and also I think the other thing is the way I stacked them, not everything got in here. Oh my God. <laughs> it's squishing out. Okay, maybe I packed it too tightly. I don't know. I can't wait to start. I'm gonna show you up. The girl who does it. Oh, you're gonna try to make one? Yeah. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, so gorgeous, babe. So gorgeous. And the crowd went wild. <laughs> How was that? Mm -hmm. It tastes pretty good. It tastes like sushi. They just kind of didn't really stay together. My turn. Time to show you up. What are you gonna put in your roll? I am thinking of going with stuff that I know I already like, like avocado. Um, I do like crab meat. There's cucumber there. Oh, I like cucumber. I wonder what this is. It looks like spicy sauce. Yeah, you want me to open it? Yeah. Taste that. I don't wanna taste that. Okay, open it and then I'll taste it. Okay, oh, I can smell it. The spice? As soon as I opened it, I could smell it. Ooh, oh, oh man, that, hold on, that's really spicy. You wanna take another taste? That was, do, no, I'm not gonna. Do, do another taste. I'm not going to. Please. You should put it all on top of each other. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that. I do wish it maybe had said that. <laughs> or that the pictures were a little bit better. Cause look at, look at how tiny the pictures are. Ugh. Ugh. How, how are you feeling now? Oh my god. See, it's not as easy as it <laughs> this looks. This is a mistake. Oh, don't ever do it. Ah. 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 Oh, but she's pretty. Yeah, you're right. Damn it. If you do better than this than me, <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> See, you got to learn from my mistakes. Damn. That looks good. What did you do different? I don't know, but that one's kind of opening up, so I wouldn't say it's perfect. Yeah, but look at how mine look. <laughs> yeah, you did I it. am victorious. You're eating it so wrong. Oh, you don't like it? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. 
Well, I guess that means I have some better looking sushi for all for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish I liked sushi. I really do. Because then it would be fun and it looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. But I just don't. I really just don't like it. You want a redemption? I absolutely do. I have learned from my mistakes and I think I'm going to make something incredible. <laughs> this is the last one of these we have, so better make it count. So what are some key things you have learned and are trying to implement in your second round, your redemption round? Well, I need to put the ingredients on top of each other instead of trying to like, like, mix and match them. Mm-hmm. And I need to be, I think I may need to roll it. I think I rolled it too loose is actually the problem. And I also need to use this oh, tinier knife. It looks better than it did the first time. Yeah, proud of you. How are we feeling going into this round? I've never been more nervous in my life. Oh no, it's coming out. Okay, it came out a little bit better than before, but I think I made it too small. No, why? You forgot to rinse between cuts. Oh, that's right. You can do this. The crowd is going wild. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why? Why did you do so much better? I don't understand. <laughs> I guess I'm just that good. No. I'm a boss. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> At the end of the day, I made something edible. Will you ever try this again? Yes, because I'm determined to, to, to fix my mistakes. <laughs> This was fun. Was it fun for you? I mean, it was a fun, cool experience. Like, how many people can say they made sushi before from scratch? I mean, well, there's a, quite a few people. Not but we are also now added to that group. If you've ever made sushi or have some tips and can tell me what I did wrong, please tell me because I need to know. Remember to follow us on TikTok and Instagram. We are at Half Baked Tonight. And give this video a like and a share and a subscribe. Yeah, leave us a comment down below for some more cool things you want us to try out. Mm -hmm. We are happy to oblige. Thank you so much. Tune in next week. Bye. How is it that I'm white and I'm the one who likes more spicy things than you? Look, man, let's, let's, don't be so loud. <laughs>